Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to talk about Octominer. And uh, first things first, Octominer, they have their MOQ. Minimum order quantity is now lifted to one. So it was five, but now you have the chance to purchase just one Octominer today as of, as of this video is released until tomorrow. So two days only, MOQ of one. I will go through their inventory and pricing here in a second. But I also do want to talk about in the rest of the video regarding if you should buy one of these or not, depending on what type of miner you are. And so I just want to give my honest opinion and my perspective and just experience using these Octa Miners now for the past couple months. And I'm just going to talk about a lot of different scenarios where these Octa Miner server cases can make sense and don't make sense, depending on what type of GPUs you have. And so... That's just my experience. I'm just going to talk openly with you guys as I know a lot of videos have been sponsored by Octominer in a lot of my videos and you guys have probably noticed that recently. And yes, they have sponsored the Red Panda Mining channel. And just to let you guys know, there is no NDA or anything of like, I can't say this or I can't say that regarding Octominer. I can say whatever I want, okay, regarding anything. Like I can say something bad. I can say something good. I can say whatever regarding Octominer and... Octominer will not bat an eye. They're very open to me and I'm very open to them. And so that's something that I want to push forward throughout all of you in this video regarding what I'm going to say Octominers and buying these if you guys are interested. Okay, so just I just want to put that out there first as uh, I know it seems like I've been making a lot of Octominer videos and I've shown how to use them and what GPUs I've used these in. And to be honest, they've been pretty awesome. We're like, they're just, it's life changing, honestly, moving to these. But there are some cases, no pun intended, in which these server cases don't really, don't make sense, depending on the GPUs. So anyways, going along, guys, the minimum order quantity is now lifted, okay? So MLQ of one, and so for two days only, and so let's just talk about how many they have available here. I believe it's 400 units of the Octominer X12 Ultra, and this is the high spec version, eight gigabyte of RAM, 60 gigabyte SSD, and 3600 watts and so these are the uh, three 1200 watt hot swappable redundant power supply so that's pretty cool you guys have seen me try out the x12 ultra i have three of these myself and they're awesome uh, if you just want to order one it would cost 859 10 to 19 would be 809 and then 20 to 49 would be 789 and 50 plus would be 679 so as obviously as you order more right it gets cheaper and also of course if you're planning on buying one use Offer code red panda mining for $50 off. All right. So anyways, going down here, they have their X8 Ultra Plus. If you guys want to order just one, the price will be $759. All right. So minus my coupon code, it'll be $709, I believe. And then if you order more than that, uh, 5 to 20, it will be $699, which is, I believe, the regular price anyway. Uh, yeah, the regular price of the X8 Ultra Plus. And then 21 to 49 will be $679. And then 50 plus will be $649. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Dates and timing, obviously, as of you guys are seeing this video today, it is now, right now, March 30th, the 31st. And uh, basically the timing here will start on 12.01 a.m. Central Standard Time. So probably after this video, it's already up and you guys can purchase one if you guys would like. Okay, so that was from Chili. Chili, if you're watching this, thanks, buddy. Okay, guys, so now I just want to quickly go through the features that make octominer like different compared to let's say if you were to build one yourself or buy a, a competitor that has server cases octominer in my opinion they have the features that they have is above and beyond anything that i've seen and the biggest thing for me is that you know i'm just going to list them out here but they have the hot swappable power supplies okay the x12 has the three 12 watts and then the uh, x8 ultra plus has the four 750 watts all right so if you guys are interested in, in getting that which i really like the x8 ultra plus uh, not because of their four power supplies but just because of the the spacing on the x8 ultra plus is a little bit bigger than the x12 ultra okay so i believe this is 64 to 65 mil spacing in the x8 ultra plus and then the x12 ultra spacing is 61 millimeter so yeah just to let you guys know about that that's why i like the x8 ultra uh, plus, it's it's only 8 GPU versus 12, and so for me personally, which I've explained in other videos, is that I like to buy 8 of the same GPUs, and so it's going to be a lot easier that way. 
instead of buying 12 of the same GPU. But that's just an OCD thing. But you can fill in these, you know, different GPUs if you'd like. But it just takes a bit in Hive OS to, uh, you know, change the overclocks on each GPU. Because if you're going to have different models and such, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, they claim here high quality components. Uh, they use high quality Japanese Panasonic. Uh, Nichicon capacitors that have much higher lifespan compared to cheap components used in competing mining rigs. Now, I don't know about this last part because I'm not quite sure if other competitors use, uh, you know, Japanese capacitors as well. But I can tell that the capacitors on these Octominers on the motherboards is definitely really nice. And then going down, the biggest one for me in terms of the differences between like other competing server cases is going to be their smart hardware watchdog and fan controller. This thing right here is where it, it, it has full integration with like, let's say Hive OS or with most mining OSs, even minor stat and simple mining. And so in which I'll, I'm going to show you guys an example, you know, in this video regarding using the Octominer in Hive OS. So I'm just going to point out a lot of the features in there. And so going down though, not only do they have the fan controller, but they also have the environmental data sensor as well, which shows in Hive OS. So this is like a, a Bosch temperature, humidity, air pressure sensor. And so that's like amazing, right? There's no one else out there. There's no other server cases that has anything like that. But going along, other features that make the Octominer pretty awesome as well is when it comes to troubleshooting. Now, this is something I just found out recently is uh, they have something, they have a system diagnostic tool called OctoTest. And this comes up when uh, their pre-installed 60 gigabyte SSD will already come with HiveOS. But within that HiveOS image also has the OctoTest testing stuff here. So uh, when you load into HiveOS, instead of going into HiveOS, they'll have an OctoTest here, which you can test the memory, you can test the motherboards, you can test the fan, you can test the PCIe slots, you can test every individual part on the Octominer motherboard and it will tell you if there's something wrong. There's so many different things on the Octominer that can be troubleshooted and with the Octominer OctoTest software, which is so awesome. But of course, when you get an Octominer, you hope to not use any of this kind of stuff because you shouldn't have an issue. I mean, most shouldn't have an issue when it comes to troubleshooting their Octominer because it should work right out of the box. And you guys have seen that in my videos. I haven't had, I haven't had any Octominer yet that has had any issue. Actually, no, not true. I did have one Radeon 7 slot, uh, PCIe slot, not work. So uh, I was hoping uh, I'm going to get some GPUs, uh, Radeon 7s from Mining Chamber, and we're going to have a video about that later on together. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's cool that they have this feature. I, I don't know anyone else that has in their HiveOS, uh, I guess for Linux here, OctoTest software. So that is a, an amazing feature. But just going along, guys, I also want to mention that with Octominer, they also have their quick start guides on their website. So they have support docs for their X12 Ultra, X8 Ultra, and also HiveOS guides as well. So this is all on their support website on the support button. So in case you have an issue or anything, it's all here. All right. So that, that's just, it's just awesome. They got the support doc here. I have it open and uh, you can see how... Uh, they explain all the parts here, what does what, and uh, it's just a quick start guide of everything here. And it's pretty, it's pretty awesome, right? Even the power cable, PCIe power cables are different lengths. Oh, it looks like they spelt length here wrong. <laughs> That's okay. Anyways, yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys have seen that in a lot of my videos. So it's cool that the PCIe here is the perfect length for each slot for each of the GPUs. But now, guys, I wanted to talk about now, if you were to purchase one of these Octominers, would it make sense for you? As a lot of you guys, a lot of you have open air rigs, such as myself, you know, I started off with open air mining rigs and I love open air mining frames and all that kind of stuff. Now, the biggest difference I would, I just have to say straight off the bat, right? I'm trying to be unbiased here, but in order to keep GPUs cool, it is best to have some type of airflow and also heat extraction when it comes to mining, this, especially if you're starting to scale. If you have like one or two mining rigs, it doesn't make sense to get an Octominer as if you already have an open air rig and you only have one or two or three rig mining rigs, you, you probably don't need to spend the money to get an Octominer case. And this is this is something I'm, I'm going to express because yes, Octominer server cases are great for having the heat extraction as you know, your GPUs are going to be enclosed 
in a, in a smaller space. So these huge 140 mil fans uh, for the X12 Ultra and the X8 Ultra Plus has, you know, 140 mil fans here that can push air through the GPUs fast enough so that the heat can be extracted within that small space. And so that's what makes server cases so appealing is that these can handle the airflow and also heat extraction out multiple times per minute. There's an equation for that. But just to mention for those that you know have just a couple rigs you probably don't need to go this way as i have tested this now on i would say i think i have octo miners in about 13 or 14 rigs now 14 mining rigs and i got all different types of mining rigs and i can tell you that the temperatures range totally different in all of them i'm gonna say the octo miners are great for higher end gpus such as 3080s 3090s as it can control the like essentially the the temperatures of these GPUs as GDDR6X is very hot right and so the Octominers are great at cooling these GPUs but when it comes to like lower end GPUs like 3070s uh, 30 uh, 1660 Ti's or even lower like 3060s it's great yes but is it needed mm, so looking at my let's see here 1660 ti rig you can see here i used to have these in an open air rig before and also in another in another server case and now i have eight of these 1660 ti's in an octominer case right now you can see that i don't have the fans high at all it's actually on auto right i have it on auto fan right now in octominer in hive os which is great right this is this thing i want to show you guys right now there's the external fan settings for octominer here and also you can blink the LEDs or turn the white LED on to find the rig, which is an awesome setting. But you can also set the auto fan on, have the minimum fan speed, max fan speed, or target core temp or mem temp, which, yeah, the mem temp should show up in the next while, I'm sure. But looking at this, right, my 1660 Ti's keep so cool. I have my, I don't even have my fan, my, my fans are set at auto, right? And it's, it's actually generally a hot, hotter day. So my Octominer here, this at these temperatures is also very quiet. With these fan speeds, it's very quiet. Looking at some other temperature reader here, you can see the environmental sensor, humidity, rig air temperature, a PSU air temperature. I mean, you, you will not get this. You will not get this feature in other, you know, server cases out there. And you can also see the exact power consumption at the wall with the server power supplies. Okay, so which is pretty awesome. Okay, this... 1660 Ti rig does not take 1.186 kilowatt. It's actually, uh, there is an error here. It looks like I may need to reflash my SSD, which there is a little bit, sometimes an issue where if you do have an issue with the rig, it's most likely you just need to reflash it or maybe the SSD goes bad in the Octominer. And so I, I'm going to have to say the 60 gigabyte or 30 gigabyte SSD is not the best. So you may have some issues. If you do have issues with Hive OS or some weird glitches, I would put another SSD and reflash it. Otherwise, their, their stock SSD can work. You gotta be lucky or not <laughs> if you're gonna have issues. But just to finalize with this 1660 Ti rig, for example, all right, lower end GPU stays cool already. Like when I had these on my open air rigs, open air frames, they were already cool already. So if you're thinking of moving these types of GPUs, 1660 Ti's, heck, even 6600 XT's, like the RX AMD cards, those cards stay really cool in open air already. So if you're thinking of moving them to Octominers, I mean, you're you're probably going to get you're going to get similar results when it comes to the temperatures. If not, you'll you'll definitely get better with the Octominer if you have them at 100% fan speed, right? So when summer is coming, I mean, I've had my 1660 Ti's in the summer and also 6600 XT's in the summer. I didn't have to have any external fans blow on them because these cards generally already stay cool already so if yeah like if you already have like a couple rigs of these already in open airframes i'm gonna have to say you do not need to upgrade to an octominer for these types of gpus lower end gpus of course one of the biggest thing is going to be your ambient temperature of where you live now if it's extremely extremely hot then yes the temperatures are probably going to go higher but I think with these, you know, 1660 Ti's or 6600 XT's, if you have the fans at 100% fan on those cards, they're going to be fine, totally fine in open airframes. And so going along with like 3070's, RTX 3070's, which I have a bunch of these cards in open airframes and in an Octominer, and I'm going to have to say it's great in either or. 
3070s, they don't have GDDR6X memory, okay? So these are a little bit better, a lot cooler in a sense, and easier to handle than GDDR6X. So in this Octominer with my 3070 Asus Turbos, I also don't have the fan set. They're at, they're at auto right now. And you can see here, their percentage, they're only running at 36% fan speed. This one's running at zero, but the temperature is at 67 degrees, which is a little bit more than I thought, a little bit more than I, I want. I mean, I, I could put these at, you know, 50% fan speed and they'll probably be at like below 60 degrees Celsius. But these temperatures are not hot at all, in my opinion. And also, if you look at the fan speed, it's it's not high on on the Octominer fans, okay? So, yeah, it's, it's on auto and, yeah, it's really quiet as well, right? With these fan speeds set at, uh, at auto. But, of course, when it's the summertime coming and I'll most likely have to have these at 100% fan speed. So, middle ground GPUs, 3060 Ti's, 3070's, and uh, I'm going to say that it can make sense in an Octominer for sure, yes. Especially if you're going to do these at scale, you're going to have like a lot of these, 20 of these server cases with 3070s, then yes, it makes sense to just go with all of these. As uh, it's also another thing that's really great about Octominers, which I forgot to mention, is the convenience of building these. It's extremely easy, right? The Octominers, you just plug and play, put in, you open the box, open the lid, put in the graphics cards, plug in the PCIe, close the lid, turn it on, put in your rig ID and password for HiveOS. It'll show up in your HiveOS. You then set your overclocks, you set your flight sheet, and you go to town. It's already mining. It's You can literally set it up in under, I would say, 10 minutes, less than that probably, with uh, 8 GPU or even 12 GPUs. It's, it's very easy rather than building a whole open air mining frame. But anyways, going back to just making sense of which GPUs, this it really does matter which GPUs you have as I found that, you know, also depending on your situation, your ambient temperatures versus open air mining frames. And if you don't need all these features, right, the auto fan, the power reading, Hive OS, you can see the exact power consumption at the wall, right, for the mining rig. And you can see it on each of the power supplies, which is amazing. And, you know, rig air temp, environmental sensors stuff, humidity, PSU air sensors. It's just all in one packet. Oh, I forgot to mention the power button, all right, versus non octo miner server cases you will not get the hard reset hard power off or wake on lan wake on lan is pretty awesome but these octo miners will already turn on once you plug in the power uh the x8 ultras and the x8 ultra plus they already natively turned on for me when i plugged in the power so if they if you run out if your power goes out and the power comes back on it'll probably already turn on already so in the BIOS, you have to probably turn off the uh, power on after power loss or something and uh, AC power on or something. And then you can do wake on LAN, which, man, I, I would love to try. I've never tried this before, but the options there, right? It's pretty cool. That's a really cool feature with the Octominers. But now just to show you guys an example of where an Octominer really does make sense is for my RTX 3080s. Okay, so being mindful of the temperatures for my RTX 3080s, I have my Octominer fans set at 100% fan, external fans, because my GPUs, these 3080s, get hot. And in open air rigs, it was even worse. In open air, I could not control the temperatures that well as I do now in an Octominer. And plus, these 3080s are not thermal throttling too much versus when I had them in, in open air. But it's not because of Octominer that, you know, I mean, it is, you know, these 140 mil fans are awesome. But these Zotac, oh no, uh, these Asus cards that I have have high memory temperatures because of the thermal pads are horrible on these. And so it is better that I am getting higher mega hash. And so Octominer is controlling it that way in a sense. But when I had these in the open air frames, these, these cards were throttling like mad. So it made a lot more sense for me, for my 3080s, even my 3090s to be in an Octominer server case, just so that the temperatures could be a lot lower as the server cases I mentioned before is you're basically creating like a hot cold air aisle type of method. Basically cold air goes in one way, hot air goes out the other in an enclosed space. And so it's just much better that way, especially for bigger GPUs that have GDDR6X memory. All right. So that's just one big thing I wanted to stress as buying these Octominers, yes, it, it can be great, but it totally depends. And if you already have a system that your GPUs aren't hot, depending on the GPUs, 
you may not need to go this route. But if you love the features, you know, of the Octominer and the HiveOS integration, you like seeing the exact power consumption and HiveOS, you like controlling your external fans, the four 140 mil fans and, and HiveOS. If you like the white turn off white LED to find the rig, which is pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. LED blink on errors. So that's pretty awesome. You can control the fan speeds, uh, the power options, the uh, all the environmental sensors, humidity, intake, exhaust, rig air temperature, PSU air temperature. You know, these are all metrics here that could be very important for one person that are wanting to understand this. So all in all, right, if you are comparing another thing I wanted to talk about is the price. Right, this is probably one thing that a lot of people like to talk about is that, oh, you know, Red Panda, I could build an, you know, in quotes, air quotes, Octominer with the same amount of money or less, uh, maybe a lot less. And you know what, guys, I'm going to say, yeah, you could. You could build a mining rig uh, in terms of everything but the GPUs versus an Octominer much less. Yes, yes, you could. But what you're paying for, the extra money that you're paying for for the Octominer is... I just said it like you know the features that these things come with the redundant power supplies enterprise grade hp server psus uh, the, the server psus you get an amazing looking server kit if you care about the aesthetics like i do these things are seriously awesome i, I love it i lo even i forgot to mention the oled screen in the front it shows the stats the metrics in the front there temperatures hash rate name ip address everything it's awesome if you like the convenience of just opening it up putting in the gpus putting in the power cables closing the lid already you just need to plug in a monitor type in your hive os rig id and password connect to your hive os done like it's extremely fast this is super convenient i i really love it in that aspect if you are you know you don't have much money and you already have airframes and your temperatures are fine then you don't need to go this route guys all right, you don't need to say like it's expensive because it's really not for what you get when you're buying these you're getting so much you're getting so many features a lot of people just bypass that I, I feel when people are thinking of you know oh you know I could just build one myself for a lot cheaper yes you can but you're not getting a lot of the features when you're building your own the redundancy efficiency the controllable 140 mil fans the fan controller everything everything the whole package guys the, just the whole package of this server case is above and beyond anything that i've ever seen and seriously for the price if you were to compare it to buying like typical mining motherboard like regular priced amazon products like to an open air rig it's it's pretty comparable like i have to say the price plus shipping okay i forgot to talk about yes shipping is gonna you're gonna have to add on another uh, depending where you live, right? It's going to be another 150 to $300 for shipping. So yes, these could easily go up to about $900 if you were to buy just one. But like I said, feature rich, super convenient. You get the support, you get the looks. This is just all a great all in one package. I, I don't know what else to say. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's all I want to explain in this video. Please let me know your thoughts and anything I missed. I think I talked about the big thing that I, I mentioned regarding buying these or not is mainly depending on your your uh, your situation and what type of GPUs you have. And if you're going to go on sca at, at scale, especially it's I think Octominers are one of the best, the best, if not the best uh, to go for if you're going to expand. So anyways, guys, MOQ of one link down below, guys, use offer code Red Panda Mining for $50 off if you're going to order one today and tomorrow. MOQ is only on for today and tomorrow march 30th to 31st moq of one my friends okay so guys thanks for watching thank you octaminer i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one peace out